Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Sapphire HD 6570 AMD graphics card. Now this one here is an entry level graphics card. I reviewed previously the 6670, which is very, very close to this one. But this one here has 512 megs of GDDR5, which also shares your onboard system memory to give it a little bit of a boost. And um, it has a lowered uh, core clock of 650 megahertz as opposed to 800 but it looks identical to the 6670 that I reviewed from Sapphire recently. It doesn't require a power connector, there's no bridge connectors for Crossfire at the top. It's a clean board, has a DVI, VGA and the HDMI out as you can see right there. Okay, dual slot card, 60 watts and um, well it is a boost, it is better than the 5000 series cards. If we look at the uh, chart here that I put together, it's got basically a little bit more power when it comes to the transistors so it's going to be able to um, produce a little bit more uh, clarity a little bit better graphics when it comes to DirectX 11 and tessellation but overall this is an entry level card keep that in mind okay even though you don't need um, a strong power supply obviously you don't need power connectors you run this with a CPU that also runs with low power and you've got a nice entry level PC that doesn't require a lot of juice to make it to run and that's the whole point about these cards right it's it's meant for a system maybe you've got an older machine and you want to give it a, an upgrade on the integrated video card that's what this is all about now I've got obviously a brand new machine with excellent components here to test this with but um, obviously you don't need that you can use this card on an older machine as long as you've got a PCI Express slot right okay now Looking at the um, GPU-Z specifications, you can see here what I was talking about. It's still using the 40 nanometer architecture. It's low power, like I mentioned, and also it's going to have lower temperatures, and that's a good thing about these cards. Even though it only has 512 megs of memory, it still runs at higher resolution, so you don't have to worry about that, and I'll show you that in a second with some games. Those are the GPU and memory clock speeds and there again you can see on idle it's running about 27 degrees Celsius but depending on the load it can go up to 30 degrees Celsius on full load it can even go all the way up to about I would say 45 degrees Celsius okay now let's look at some benchmarks when it comes to 3d mark vantage you can see here the um, overall score and the GPU score and that's what we're looking at today is only the GPU score so we can compare that to other GPUs that I've reviewed previously and it really comes close to the ATI HD 5670 okay if you look at the chart here so this gives you a good idea on how well this card performs compared to these other cards now looking forward at other benchmarks if you're interested here is the 3D Mark 11 benchmark now again you're not going to really be overclocking this card yes you could overclock it if you wanted to get a few more frames per second out of it but again it's not meant for you to be, really be running this at ultra high extreme settings okay keep that in mind when you're playing games try to lower settings if you're going to play games for example here on crisis 2 I lowered it to gamer settings okay and on gamer settings it played pretty smooth Okay, no complaints from me on gamer settings. So um, as long as you adjust the uh, display settings in the games, you'll get good results with this card, okay? So keep that in mind. Here's some more benchmarks for you guys to take a look at. Got Dragon Age 2. I uh, obviously um, lowered the anti-aliasing to zero, okay? So that way I can get some smoother frame rates out of the game. And um, on Alien versus uh, Predator, I just left it at the defaults. Uh, benchmark uh, settings so I didn't touch anything there and those are the average frames per second scores that uh, I got out of it so overall great looking card for an entry level better than the 5000 series I would say that came out as an entry level and I'd like to thank uh, Sapphire for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching